To stay competitive in a fast-changing market, you must constantly invest into improving the quality of your products. In this tutorial, you will set up a research and development center and start R&D projects to invent more advanced technology for your products. The competition will be fierce, but your R&D investment should pay off and give you a competitive edge against your rivals. In this tutorial you will learn how to improve the quality of your products by conducting research in R&D centers. As you may recall, a product's quality rating is based on two factors, the company's production technology rating for the product, and the raw material quality. Research advances your company's production technologies and thus increases your product's quality. To demonstrate how research works, we are going to set up a factory manufacturing air conditioners. First, you should view the manufacturer's guide to see what materials are required. Press the shortcut key F1 to open it now. Now click Output, and select Air Conditioner. Air conditioners are manufactured using electronic components and steel. Take a look at the percentage points that the production technology and the raw material quality contribute to air conditioner's quality. As you see here, technology contributes 80% to air conditioner's quality. You must invest into technological development if you want your air conditioners to be competitive in the market. Research and development, or R&D, is aptly conducted in R&D centers. Research projects can take some time to complete, so it's a good idea to begin research as soon as possible. Let's build an R&D center now. Press the shortcut key B to open the, the Build menu now. Select R&D Center from the menu and find a location to build it. It's a good idea to build your R&D Center on the outskirts of the city as the land is cheaper there. There is only one type of functional unit to build in an R&D Center, which is the R&D unit. You can set up a maximum of 9 R&D units in an R&D Center. You may have them work independently as 9 separate teams or link them into a large, single team for increased performance. Let's create a research team with three R&D units. Double-click here to set up the first unit. When you start a research project with more R&D units linked together, you get a boost in performance and thus get a bigger tech gain. Now double-click here to set up the second R&D unit. Let's click the link between the units to connect them. Now set up the third one. Link it to the first one as well. Your team is ready to commence research. All they need is your direction. Click the leader unit of your research team, which is the one with connections to all other R&D units in the team. Click the Start R&D button. You use this interface to select the type of product you want to conduct R&D for. The column Current Tech indicates your current production technology level. The next column Top Tech indicates the top technology level for each product type. This value will be updated whenever a company has achieved a higher tech level than the current top tech level. It is an important indicator as it tells how your company fare against the competition in technology. Now select Air Conditioner from the list by double-clicking it. Next you must decide how long your research project will run. The list shows the R&D time duration and the expected increase in the technology level for the product. The tech increase is greater for projects with longer durations. Since this is your first research project, let's select 6 months for the time duration to get the result sooner. Excellent! Your research project has commenced. Its progress can be viewed in the Unit Details section. While waiting for the research project to complete, let's go ahead and set up a factory to manufacture air conditioners. Right-click anywhere on the screen to exit back to the City view. This tutorial will continue when your factory starts to produce and sell air conditioners. If at any point you are lost and you want to restart the tutorial, you can press the escape key and select restart tutorial. You are now in the business of selling air conditioners. 
To see the effect of R&D on your manufacturing operations, press shortcut key 5 to set the game speed to the fastest. When a research project of yours is finished, you will see a flashing event tracker icon at the bottom menu bar. Keep your eyes on this area. Once the event tracker icon, indicated by an exclamation mark sign, appears, you can go ahead and click it. The above event tracker message window indicates that the your research project has been completed, increasing your production technology level for air conditioners to 34. All your factories producing air conditioners will benefit from the technological advancement, enabling them to produce air conditioners of higher quality. On the event tracker window, you may click the go button to access your R&D center where the research project is completed, and decide if you want to continue to research better technology for the same product, or direct your R&D team to research on something else. Great! You have demonstrated your ability to manage research projects, and use them to boost your product's quality. Next we'll take a quick look at the managerial option of providing training to your employees, which is essential for improving the overall competitiveness of your company. Depending on the type of the functional unit, training may increase its productivity and or its capacity. For R&D units, training improves their R&D efficiency. For manufacturing units, training increases their productivity and capacities. For livestock raising units and crop growing units, training improves the quality of their output as well as their capacities. For purchasing units and sale units, training increases their efficiency and capacities. The training bar is situated at the lower center of the firm detail window. You may adjust the amount of training the current firm receives by clicking a point on the training bar. When the bar is set to full, it means you have allocated the maximum possible training budget to it. Try it now by setting the training for the current firm. Now all the staff in the firm will receive training. Click an R&D unit to see the details of the staff. There are 12 staff members in each R&D unit. Those who have been trained are denoted by stars. When the entire staff of a functional unit has been trained, the unit's experience level will increase. Training can be costly for a company with limited cash, but the end results are worth the initial outlay of money. In this tutorial game, you are fortunate to start with ample cash. So feel free to set the training slider to maximum. You have done a great job laying a solid foundation for your business to grow with sound R&D facilities and familiarized yourself with the training interface. Your efforts will pay off as you attempt to take your business to the next level. Your goal in this tutorial game is to grow your business from a humble manufacturer of air conditioners to a successful enterprise dominating the entire home appliances market, and at the same time generating an annual profit of at least $20 million. Good luck!